Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can fix this error. The error that we get on Google Chrome browser that is uh, this web page is not available uh, error underscore name underscore not underscore result. Okay. Okay guys, so uh, if you are getting this error then you can follow this simple tutorial and I'm gonna show you a couple of methods and you can try that out and uh, let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not. Okay. So method one we have is uh, you have to flush you know the DNS cache and renew your IP address. Okay. So in order to do that you have to open you know command prompt as administrator and you have to type the commands below over here. Okay. And I will put these you know commands in description section so that you can check it very easily. Okay. Okay guys so uh, you need to go to your you know the search box over here and you need to type this cmd and on the, this you know cmd you need to right click on it and click on this run as administrator and in this uh, you need to type this command that is ip config space forward slash flash dns okay the first command is this and you need to hit enter on your keyboard okay as you can see successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache okay and uh, the second command is ipconfig space forward slash renew okay so let me type that so we need to type this only ipconfig space forward slash renew and hit enter on the keyboard and as you can see it's you know doing the operation and it's done okay and uh, the third command is ipconfig space forward slash register dns okay so let me do that register dns and hit enter on your keyboard and as you can see it's doing the processing A registration of the dns resource records for all the adapters of this computer has been initiated okay guys so it's done okay and after that you need to open your you know google chrome browser and let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not okay guys so you tried this you know method one and it doesn't fix your issue okay so you can try this you know method two so in this method you have to set you know google's dns as your dns server okay so uh, i'm going to show you a couple of steps how you can do that so let me close this okay guys so uh, you need to you know press window plus r key on your keyboard in order to get this you know run window okay and you need to type this ncpa.cpl and uh, click on ok and here we can see all of our you know network connections okay so just select your active connection i have you know wi-fi and then right click on it and then click on properties and uh, you need to uh, go down a little bit and just select this internet protocol version 4 and then click on properties and here you need to select this use the following dns server addresses okay so just select it and you need to type this 8.8.8 .8 .8 at and in preferred in alternate dns server you need to type this 8.8. .8 you know 4.4 okay so i will put this you know a google's dns you know server in video description so that you can copy that very easily and after that you need to click on this ok and then click on close and close all the windows and just open your uh, google chrome browser and uh, let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not. okay guys okay guys so you tried you know this method too and it doesn't fix this here then you can try this you know method 3 okay so in method 3 uh, you have to clear google chrome cookies okay so let me show you how you can do that so just open google chrome browser and you need to go here you know this, this stack icon over here and click on it and click on you know settings and you need to click on history and here you need to click on this clear browsing data okay and you get this you know pop-up 
and you have to select this you know the beginning of time okay and you need to uncheck this browsing history download history if you like you can do that as well but uh, you just need to clear this you know cookies and other site and plugin data and just click on this clear browsing data and it will do you know it will clear it okay guys so uh, try this you know method 3 and uh, let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not okay guys and also you need to restart your Chrome as well okay guys so try all these methods and let me know in the comment section whether it fixes your issue or not so that's it for this video thanks for watching and i will catch you in my other tutorials bye bye take care